Well, I think I've spent uh, 23 years serving our country. Uh, I'm also on the Homo Dilzera School Board. Um, I've worked in business for six years uh, and have two master's degrees in national security affairs and defense analysis, uh, an undergraduate degree in education, workforce, and development, things that I think are really important right now. So I think that that whole uh, would qualify me to run. And as a former Navy SEAL lieutenant commander, how do you think this experience would impact your vote in Congress on such issues such as expanding the U.S. military, putting troops at the border, engagement in Syria and North Korea? Yeah, having served overseas myself, I know how critical it is uh, to employ American men and women in harm's way. And so I would take those questions extremely seriously. I know what it means to lose uh, people, uh, friends, um, while serving their country. And so I think uh, who better to make a decision like that than somebody who, who's actually lived through it. And you have taken some heat recently um, for saying, and let me get it correct, it should be a requirement to serve to even run. Um, some people say that's exclusionary. Would you like to clarify? Yeah, I definitely didn't mean it to be exclusionary. Um, I think uh, uh, it was a poor choice of words. And there's so many people that serve in so many different ways, and that's what I was trying to uh, come across to indicate that we should have this desire to serve our country. We all enjoy um, what our country provides for us, but it takes a lot of work to keep it going, um, this experiment of democracy. Uh, my daughter's up at UC Santa Cruz, and uh, she wants to be a teacher. That's a great way to serve public education. Uh, it's really important to me while I'm on the school board. So please everybody serve in, in any capacity that they can. That's, that was my intent. <laughs> and speaking of your position on the school board, you're well aware of the strain to the district's general funds. What do you consider the biggest issue impacting California schools and, and what would you be able to take on yeah. in DC concerning these issues? I'm so glad you asked that. I know that the public schools are funded through the states. Uh, but just in the Hamul Dilzera School uh, District, we had four students come in that have special education needs. Uh, the mandate is a federal mandate uh, that requires us to fully support those individual learning requirements. And uh, this in particular is uh, a $295,000 bill, which $40,000 of it is the only part that's paid by the federal government. So there's a lack of uh, there's a lack of priority placed on education, in my opinion, and so it starts with prioritizing. As you know, uh, California is the sixth largest economy in the world, and yet we only, um, we only pay about 40-second level uh, for our education. So that's an indicator uh, that we're not paying enough money, uh, putting, enough, uh, putting a high enough priority on education. And records show as recently as 2010, you were registered as a Republican. What's changed? Why did you leave the party? Well, I never left the party. I've been a Democrat my whole life. Uh, I was raised a Democrat, and um, I think in in I think it was 2008. I wanted to vote in the Republican primary for a particular candidate, um, and turns out that candidate, uh, after all, didn't reflect my values entirely, and I ended up voting for the Democrat anyway. Uh, but uh, I think we're putting too much uh, focus on labels of parties, and I'm running against just the opposite of that. I want to put the country ahead of party. Uh, that's what I have consistently said out in, uh, when I talk to folks in the community, and that resonates with, with folks. I think uh, people are tired of the back and forth bickering between the far left and right of our parties, and what's most important is being Americans. That's something that can unite us all. And what's your stance, something that's um, very relevant here in San Diego, to the border wall project? If elected, what would your position be when it comes to funding? Yeah, I think funding the border wall is a huge mistake, especially if you're going to take funds from TSA, which keeps us safer, and from the Coast Guard, which especially here in San Diego keeps us safe, and use those for a wall that I think is uh, completely ineffective. It's, it's like building a Maginot Line, and uh, folks are just going to go around it as soon as you build it. In fact, you can't build it out into the Pacific Ocean. And so there are many other ways to make our borders uh, more secure and safe. Uh, and uh, funding, fully funding Border Patrol is one. They need more bodies. They need more training. Um, and uh, we have, you know, this is the 21st century. We have sensors, um, all kinds of layered defense that will make us safer uh, in a much more effective way and not waste funds on a, a large physical barrier. 
So Congress has not passed a replacement for DACA. Would you support a bill that would provide a path to citizenship for people in the U.S. who are brought to the U.S. illegally as children? Yeah, the DACA uh, immigrants, uh, that's delayed action for childhood arrivals, and we should um, actually absolutely take that action now, and I would support doing so. Josh Butner, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.